Have you ever thought of how one single mistake can ruin an entire bakery? Well, that's how proteins and prions work. Let's take a look at a protein structure. The primary structure is the ingredients, the amino acid sequence of proteins. All folding info is encoded here. Next up, kick molds. Round, rectangular. In proteins, the shapes are called alpha helices and beta sheets. Known as Leventhal's paradox, they start by forming these shapes first, speeding the process. The tertiary structure is like the icing and decorations. It's the final 3D shape of a protein that makes it ready for its purpose. Proteins fold in millions of ways, each with a specific function. Just like birthday cakes, cupcakes, they all share similar ingredients but serve very different roles. This folding is guided by chemical forces and helpers called molecular chaperones, expert bakers preventing mistakes. But sometimes folding goes wrong. That's when prions appear. Prions are misfolded proteins caused by genetic mutations, protein synthesis mistakes, or environmental changes, like an intern who messes up the cake recipe. When a prion bumps into a normal protein, it forces it to copy its shape, starting a chain reaction. Unlike viruses, prions have no DNA or RNA. They're just incredibly resistant proteins that replicate without genes. I mean, these genes, not those genes. They cannot be destroyed by heat, UV, or radiation. A prion is as flat as a pancake, so they pile up its dense, sticky stacks in the brain called amyloid fibers, clogging everything. They disrupt cell function, kill neurons and form toxic plagues. The brain, aka the baker, tries to clean up, but it keeps spreading, leaving sponge-like holes and causing fatal diseases like the mad cow disease. Not all weird cakes are bad though. Some prion-like proteins are actually helpful, such as CPEB, which helps with memory storage. So, prions can be harmful or surprisingly useful.